hello and welcome to this video in this video we'll go through um, income statements for using absorption costing method and marginal costing methods uh, we have the following exercise we've got two exercises the first one monthly you do income statement based on monthly um, data and the second one based on annual data we have major differences between um, um, marginal costing method and, um, and the absorption costing method so in the first one we take into um, consideration the fixed cost in calculating production cost in marginal costing method we ignore fixed cost and we treat fixed cost as um, a period cost so we have the following information for the month of September 2019 so we need to produce income statements for October 2019 using absorption and marginal costing method so we have uh, the price per unit three pa 30 pounds prime cost per unit eight pounds we know prime cost um, is about uh, direct cost and direct uh, materials and direct labor we have variable manufacturing overhead per unit four pounds and we have fixed manuf uh, manufacturing overhead um, 80,000 per month we have uh, budgeted production uh, per month we're talking about quantity produced 20,000 units uh, budgeted sales per month 16,000 uh, per unit uh, 16,000 uh, units so this is sales we have opening an inventory thousand units so what we have in stock from previ previous month um, so we need to calculate first uh, production cost um, using absorption costing method and marginal costing method so let's start with absorption costing method so absorption production production cost per unit is going to be um we have the prime cost plus variable manufacturing overhead four pounds so eight pounds um uh, prime cost per unit plus uh, variable manufacturing overhead per unit we have also um we have also as we said we take into consideration um, um, fixed manufacturing overhead but in this case we need to see um, so this is for the whole month 80,000 we need to see um, how much um, manufacturing um, fixed manufacturing overhead per unit so in this case what we need to do we need to divide so 80,000 80,000 divided by uh, we have how many units we have budgeted the production uh, per month 20,000 so in this case divided by 20,000 so this is our absorption costing um, uh, production cost per unit using absorption costing of course we ignore selling and administrative expenses because it's not a direct um, direct cost we only consider direct costs so selling administrative expenses are indirect so in this case let's calculate this so 8 plus 4 plus 80,000 divided by 20,000 in this case I have 16 pounds so this is um, so this is um, production cost per unit using absorption costing let's try marginal now for marginal costing method we said we ignore um, um, fixed manufacturing overhead so in this case we have prime cost plus um, variable manufacturing overhead in this case we have only these two we as we ignoring uh, fixed manufacturing overhead so in this case equals eight plus 
4 and this will give me 12 so you see from here differences we've got four pounds difference in production cost per units between the two methods now let's try to um, go forward and make income statement for both of them So we're starting normally for both of them we start with sales. So sales we've got the price for both of them we've got the price is 30. So in this case we start with 30. The price is 30 for both of them. So sales are going to be the same for both. We've got a quantity sold. We have budgeted sales per month 16,000. In this case we need to type 16,000 and 16,000 okay um, so sales equals price times quantity so in this case four four hundred and eighty thousand we have also so um, uh, same for marginal but we'll come back to marginal costing let's finish um, income statement for absorption costing okay so we have uh, sales we've got less cost of goods sold we have beginning inventory is very important to um, look at beginning inventory and uh, um, so beginning inventory we have here is just thousand units so um, in this case thousand units and as we are doing um, absorption costing we get the cost from absorption costing which is 16 pounds per unit so this thousand times 16 so in this case you got thousand thousand times 16 now we have add um, cost of goods manufactured so in this case we need to also calculate we produced um, budgeted production per month we got 20,000 so in this case 20,000 and we have um, production cost per unit 16 so we apply that here so 16 times 20,000 and we have here we have um, now we have beginning inventory plus cost of goods sold so um, we have 16,000 plus 320,000 so in this case this give, give me um, uh, goods available for sale in this case you got um, beginning inventory plus cost of goods manufactured in this case 336,000 um, um, 30, we have also we need but to deduct ending inventory how are we going to calculate ending inventory so ending inventory is simply what we produced we have 20,000 units so 20,000 units we produced minus uh, what we sold or let's say before we say what was sold we have opening inventory as well thousand units so in this case we say um, You say plus opening inventory which is thousand units yeah minus what we sold we sold um, 16,000 so in this case minus 16,000 and we multiply that by um, 16 which is production cost per unit under absorption costing so let's apply this 
so in this case what we have here we have what we produced yeah so calculating ending event what we produced plus opening inventory minus what we sold ending inventory means what was remaining in our stock now we calculated this using um, a quantity we need to fix that um, so we say um, all of that multiplied by um, 16 yeah so we have um, 21 minus 16 it get me 5,000 5,000 times um, 5,000 times um, 16 it get me 80,000 now we need to do subtraction so um, goods available for sale 336,000 minus 80,000 ending inventory get me uh, 256,000 um, we have um, now we can calculate the gross margin gross margin we have sales 480,000 minus um, Two hundred and um, fifty-six thousand. You get me um, two hundred and twenty-four thousand. Now we move to period costs. What we have here, period costs. We have only um, selling and admin expenses. Selling and admin expenses. We have here variable selling and admin expenses. We have three pounds per unit. So we calculate that. We have. Um, three pounds per unit and we sold um how many units we sold we sold sixteen thousand units in this case um sixteen times sixteen thousand times three you get me forty eight thousand we don't have any fixed um we don't have any fixed uh uh, variable um, uh, selling admin expenses so in this case we have period cost total period cost uh, 48,000 so gross margin minus uh, gross margin 224,000 minus uh, 48,000 will get me um, 176,000 so this is our income net income or net profit now looking at marginal costing method so we calculated we started calculating sales sales is going to be the same as we calculated there so in this case price times quantity sold you got 480,000 we start straight away with beginning inventory as we calculated their beginning inventory so it's going to be exactly the same but with one difference which is the cost production cost per unit we calculated production cost per unit using marginal costing ignoring fixed manufacturing overhead so in this case is 12 it's not 16 so in this case here we have uh, production cost per unit using marginal 12 times um, opening inventory thousand so you get me twelve thousand we need to add to that um, cost of goods manufactured in this case um, as we did same but with different costs we produce twenty thousand units and that multiplied by twelve so in this case we have twelve times um, 20,000 to get me 240,000 um, goods available for sale we have beginning in inventory plus um, um, cost of goods manufactured you get me so 12,000 plus 240,000 you get me 252,000 we have now 
the ending inventory, we need to calculate 